Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home? States, that was Skylar Cole with the singing of tonight's national anthem. So happy to have you here for a midweek edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This should be an intriguing contest. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter is Ali LaForce. And for an idea of how the league is shaping up right now, take a look at these latest power rankings. They have to be frustrated right now, falling down into the bottom of the rankings. Checking out the Lakers, they're doing more than what people expected. And that's because they're getting solid contributions from some unlikely sources. So here's the Clippers starting group. On the perimeter, it's the talented duo of George and Kawhi. Robert Covington is out there with Mason Plumley, And it's Westbrook in at point guard. And for the Lakers, LeBron and Achimura are the forwards. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. And it's Davis in at the five down low. And here in the early stages of the regular season, we're still seeing how the projections are going to match up with the actual standings, Clark. And I love that. The projections are one thing. How it actually shakes out is quite another. It's always fun to see where the surprises are going to emerge because we... Thank you. 
No, they will. James against Leonard. Plumley a screen on James. From the high post. Rebound, Anthony Davis. James finds Russell. Pass to Davis. Over Plumley. Kawhi Leonard comes up with a rebound. Here's Westbrook. Outside Covington. Leonard outside. Just five on the clock. Got it. And that was a good read from Leonard. Noticing the overcommitment and exploiting it. And about a minute gone in the first quarter. Russell with the ball. Coming in off a 14-point game last time out. Let's the three fly. Plumley pulls down the board. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Out left to the wing. And here's Westbrook from the arc. LeBron with the rebound. And it's the Lakers' ball. Ooh, stolen by Westbrook. Now here's Leonard, tightly guarded. Outside Covington. Clock at six. George for three, and the three-pointer goes. It's a big part of George's game, the three-point shot, and for good reason. I mean, he's a sniper out there. Hachimura with a screen on George. Pass to Davis. Over Plumley, and that one's long. Nice work defensively, meeting him up top and forcing the miss. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Well, as we've seen throughout the history of the Lakers, Clark, it's a big free agent and trade destination. Well, I think part of it is the weather attraction. I mean, guys love playing where the weather is always nice, not to mention to be with a team whose goal is to win championships. Falls for Westbrook. Boy, the passion Westbrook plays with is infectious. He plays hard every second he's out on the court. That one misses. Well, if you're the Clippers, are you out looking for the next young star, Grant? Possibly, B.A. I mean, five of their top six scorers last year were over 30 years old. So they may need more production from your young guns to be a consistent contender. And the foul called on Paul George. That's his first foul. Time called here. The Lakers decide to talk it over. And since we have a moment, here are last year's most efficient scorers around the league. Second, Mason Plumley, So consistent from the floor. He shot it at a great clip last season. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Hachimura, the pass to Davis. Six on the shot clock. The three from Russell. Rebound by the Clippers. Their last game, a win against the Magic. Looking to carry it into this one. And, and you know, some games, you're plagued by false starts and slow momentum. You could tell they were getting frustrated. And you know what? Even though it was a frustrating night shooting the ball, they found a way to get it done and pulled it out. And a win's a win, and that ultimately is all that matters. Hey. Good to get him going right away. I mean, those are the shots that really boost confidence. Perhaps he's set for a big night. I mean, he can be a difference maker for him when he's on his game. Took a little time, but they get one to go. Maybe they're warmed up now. Pass to Plumley. Outside Covington. 
Now Westbrook. Switch. And he lobs it up. Slam dunk by Plumley. Boy, we know what a skilled passer Westbrook is, but you still got to appreciate that dime there. Very impressive. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Davis, a screen. Three-pointer. And LeBron James gets the three. James has got five points. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's George. A 14-point game for him in the win against Orlando. And it's good for two. George continuing to become a better passer. That's one area that's clearly improved over his career. Westbrook against Russell. Pass to Reeves. Outside Russell. Back to Reeves. From deep. And another three for the Lakers. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Pulls it. And there's another one for the Clippers. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. Pass to Davis. Back to Russell. Tipped away. Leonard with the ball. Russell covering. The finish! Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. And, you know, the intensity Leonard plays with on defense is impressive, using his huge hands to claw the ball away. Now a timeout, timeout. called by the Lakers. If I'm a young fan watching Sorry. the NBA, Kawhi Leonard is a guy I'm keeping a close eye on, Grant. He does everything the right way. B.A., so much to like about Kawhi's game and how he carries himself. He takes so much pride in what he does on both ends of the floor. And the Lakers making a change here. Vincent's checked in. James, right side. It's stolen by Leonard. It's stolen by James. Vincent passes to Russell. That shot, no good. And George with some nice D. Pass to Westbrook. Leonard against James. Shot by Leonard, no good. The Lakers have gone three of eight so far. Here's Vincent. 10 feet away and he drops that one in one of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end always in attack mode pass to Plumley. Plumley a screen on Russell for three George Davis with a rebound and so Davis will bring it up for the Lakers they trail by seven James on the wing. Leonard defending. James passes to Vincent. Off target with the three. The Clippers have got seven of 11 shots to find the mark. That's good from Covington. On the assist by Leonard. Leonard's got three assists now in this one. The Lakers have gone four of ten shooting the rock in this first quarter. Leonard against James. Davis a screen. Gets the three to fall. Well, I don't think anybody is expecting this shot. LeBron showing some confidence with that long bomb. For three, Westbrook sinks it from distance. Westbrook's got seven points. Wow. Some strong perimeter shooting here in the first quarter. How do you stop this? I mean, it seems like they can't miss. Davis with a screen on Leonard. And he lobs it up top. And it's stolen by Plumley. Oh, and the fast break for the Clippers. And George with the jam. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. Outside for Davis. Davis with a screen on George. And there's James from the arc. 
And the Lakers hit again from deep. It's obvious he's taking it upon himself to try and keep them alive. George outside. Here's Leonard. Again, the Clippers score. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. Vincent passes to Davis. Releases. And the Lakers tack on two more. Simply found the open man there because he read the defense. Well done by Davis. George against Russell. Plumlee a screen on Russell. For three, George. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. Davis has got four rebounds in the game. And it's stolen by Plumlee. And it's blocked by Davis. Expert timing by Davis on the block. Right when the ball was at his apex, he got it. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. That makes them five for five so far. Could be a big night in store. And I think they've got to consider throwing a few different looks his way early on, especially if he keeps shooting like this. Vanderbilt's checked in for Achimura. And the Clippers will go for a different look here. Zubats, he's checked in for Plumlee. Martin comes in for Covington. Powell, he's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. And it's Mann in for Russell Westbrook. James, no good on the free throw. And Clark, what's most amazing about LeBron James, how remarkable he is playing at his age. Yeah, there's a lot of things that are really incredible about LeBron, but that's one of the most incredible. His high level of play at his advanced age. And he's still playing with great athleticism. The credit to the work he's put in and his giftedness. Now, here is James. Really played well against Orlando in his last game. Martin, the pass to Powell. Martin with a screen on Davis. Powell. Russell with the rebound. And that's not the look they wanted. The defender was right there. Pass to Vanderbilt. Now, here is James. The Lakers with another miss. I think they could have gotten a better shot attempt there if he wasn't so eager to let it fly. Martin with the ball. George, right side. For three, Powell. The shot that time, not on target. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Pass to Davis. The shot's good on the assist by James. Putting those passing skills to work. LeBron, truly a gifted passer. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. Sixth in scoring. And the way they attacked the glass was absolutely infectious. Finishing in the top ten in total rebounding in the league. And they really love to push the ball. Finishing in the top five in fast break points. They were a fun team to watch. Christian Wood is checked in for the Lakers. Prince comes in for James. Leonard's checked in for the Clippers. Russell, that's good. The execution has been better lately. But do they have enough energy to pull it off? This game was in danger of getting away from them. They've made a nice push to keep it close. He was all alone on that one. And the Clippers lead by five. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. Russell from outside. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Yeah, you know, they're losing in large part because he's, he's not playing well. It's really as simple as that. He's got a knack for finishing inside. That's easy money. And the Lakers shooting 53%, setting the tone right from the opening tip. Here's Vincent. That one rolls around and rims out. The defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. Powell's shot is off. You know, he looks a little off kilter to me this quarter. Still trying to find his rhythm. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for the L.A. Clippers. It's a five-point game. The three is up. That bucket makes him three for five. You know, so far he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. 
Russell deciding where to go with it. Here's the three. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. Offense is coming free and easy as we wrap up the first. The Clippers on top, leading by eight. Don't go away. We'll be back with the second quarter in just a moment. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Clippers. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance, so knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Taking what the defense gives them, guys. I mean, the mid-range shot is available, and they're knocking it down from there. I love it. The Lakers trail. We've got Jared Vanderbilt. Gabe Vincent out there with D'Angelo Russell. Then there's Torian Prince. And it's Wood in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group for the Lakers to kick off the second quarter. And for the Clippers, their shooting has been great this game, 58%. Martin finds Powell. Here's Mann. The three is up. Vincent grabs a miss. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Clark, you look at Christian Wood. When he's in the right situation, he's productive. Very much so. You give him minutes and he'll put up numbers. It's that simple. Takes pride in his glass eating and can score from different levels. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. Well, the Lakers hired Darvin Ham to be their head coach back in 2022. Grant, that proved to be a great move. I agree, B.A. I mean, Ham was an assistant for a decade in the league, earned his spot as the main guy, and Darvin was a really tough player, too. I mean, he went undrafted and won a title with the Pistons against the Lakers. Now here's Leonard. From 13, it's good. Leonard's got nine. Yeah, the versatile scoring ability of Kawhi, whether long range, short range, mid range, he can do it all. Here's Vincent. Deflected! Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Here's Leonard. The Lakers with a rebound. And after this game wraps up, they're off to Orlando where they'll face the Magic. They're kicking off a four-game road trip. He's been just a little off the mark tonight. Really the story of the game so far. Alley-oop up top, hammer at home. Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized, defense pays. Boy, I tell you what, guys, this is really getting close to being real ugly. Here's Vincent. And again, the Lakers, no good. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this point. Man. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. The Clippers are certainly a deep team, and Kawhi Leonard said, we have a lot of talented wings on our team that can play both ways. Dribble, shoot the ball, able to guard multiple positions. And I think that's what you need right now in the NBA. Guys that can guard, switch, and knock down open shots. Brian? Yeah, true enough. Allie, thanks. Showtime, Christian Wood. Putting down the hammer. Timeout call. The Clippers. Well, Grant is the managing director of the U.S. men's national team. You've gotten to see the wealth of international talent firsthand. It's so true, B.A. I mean, I've got so much respect for the international game. You know, over 25% of the players in the NBA right now are international players. And they produce superstar talents like Doncic, Giannis, Embiid, and Jokic. The U.S. has more competition now than ever. Reeves is checked in for Prince. Oh. 
And here in the second quarter of action, just a hair under two and a half minutes played. Powell for three. And Reeves pulls it down. He came out today planning to do as much damage from three-point range as possible. Well, it looks like it's time to change up the plan, guys. Down low. And Vanderbilt gets it to go on the assist by Russell. Russell's got four assists now tonight. Now here's Powell. On the wing man. Leonard on the wing. Guarded by Vanderbilt. Six to shoot. Tries the nine-footer. The claw! Slashing his way inside. Adds to their lead. They've been able to rely on him all night. Wood, a screen on Martin. It's Reeves with the drive. Vanderbilt, a pass to Wood. Gets the three ball to go. Wood's got six points in the quarter. Wood buries it. A good shooter off the catch. And it's Leonard with the ball for the Clippers. They've led by as many as 11. Zubats, a screen. Powell outside. There's the three. Goes back up. Wood grabs the board. Wood's got four rebounds now. Outside Russell. Pass to Reeves. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Really a smart look that time by Wood, giving the ball up to his wide open teammate. Russell against Powell. Here's Mann. Beyond the arc. Rebound by the Lakers. Russell's got four rebounds now. Wood with it. Picked up by Powell. Reeves takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Now just a two-point Clipper lead. Leonard against Vanderbilt. Pass to man. And here's Martin. Stolen by Russell. That one's good. This game is all even. Russell's gotten his second bucket of the game. And this is what you get with a bigger guard. D'Angelo able to finish through contact. Man, the pass to Leonard. Over Vanderbilt. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Here are the Lakers now. They're on a 14-6 run. Vanderbilt, a screen on Martin. Back to Vanderbilt. Blocked! And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Zubats. And we have to take another look at that block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for the Lakers. Plumlee's checked in for the Clippers. Westbrook comes in for man. Here's Vincent. He had 19 points in the win against Orlando. Shot clock at six. Russell from outside. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Here's Plumley. Pass to Westbrook. Leonard outside. Back to Westbrook. Stolen by Russell. Inside. Davis finds Russell. Here's Reeves. Back to Russell. Here's Vincent. Six to shoot. Here's Davis. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. And here's Westbrook. Leonard outside. Back to Westbrook. And there's the lob. Tipped. Russell with the ball. And it's Leonard picking him up. And it's the Lakers on the break. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. You know, Davis is so long and strong inside, he almost forces you to foul him. Well, Clark, we often note the offensive impact from Davis. But he also gets it done on the other end of the floor. He is the best defender in the league in my mind when you look at all the aspects of playing defense. He's a multiple block shot champ. His anticipation and timing at the defensive end, uh, top shelf. And that one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. And, you know, for a big man, Anthony Davis has always been above average at the free throw line. James is checked in for the Lakers. 
Covington's checked in for the Clippers. Paul George comes in for Powell. Both free throws good from Davis. I love it. In attack mode. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. My kind of hoops. Straight ahead, playing downhill and physical. Time called here. The Clippers decide to talk it over. A quick break, and we look at our 2K leaderboard for three-point shooting last season. The Clippers third. You know, a solid three-point game can be the cornerstone of an effective offense. I mean, it adds a little pop and punch to what a team is doing offensively. And last year, this team was not made up of just good three-point shooters. They had great three-point shooters. The Clippers trail. Westbrook, the pass to Leonard. To end the drought. Shot is off. Five for ten now. The Lakers have gone six of 14 in the second quarter. Looking to get back on track. Count it for Vincent. Vincent's got six points. Now George. Seven points in the game. To the middle. Here's Westbrook. And it's rejected. Out of bounds, the Clippers will keep possession. <laughs> Leonard on the wing. Checked by James. Connects from downtown. Ten points for him. He's picking up right where he left off in the first quarter. Here's Vincent. Six points for him. Outside Vanderbilt. The three. Knocks it down from distance. Vanderbilt's got five points now in the quarter. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now here's Westbrook. He's got ten. Out to Covington. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. The three-point stroke of Robert Covington is really a thing of beauty. You, you can't let him get loose from the outside. He's dangerous. Here's Vanderbilt. He's coming off a 10-point game against Orlando. Yeah, what about his work on the glass? I mean, he was an all-around contributor to a winning effort. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Plumley, And the Lakers making a change here. Woods checked in. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Martin's checked in. Pass to Reeves. Shoots over George. The shot by Reeves, no good. The Clippers shooting at 49% so far in the game. Covington. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Christian Wood picks one up. Really nice work here from Covington to draw the foul on his way up. He's got a real talent for drawing fouls and getting himself to the foul line. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Lakers. Everything working for them inside so far, guys. Tons of high-quality shots that they're knocking down inside. And I've also really liked how aggressive they've been in the open floor. I mean, when they see a chance to push it, they go for it. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. Boy, he's an outstanding defender and a very capable shooter. Covington is an extremely valuable role player. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. And so James will bring it to the Los Angeles Lakers. From downtown, Plumley pulls down the board. Plumley's got six rebounds in the game. The 11-footer, Martin with the bucket. Martin's got six points. And for the Lakers, they're shooting 42% in the second quarter. Martin against James to end the run. No airspace for James. What a shot. Yet another stellar night for LeBron offensively so far. In some ways, he's just unstoppable. 
Plumley a screen. George passes to Plumley. Westbrook outside. Clock at six. Picked by Covington. Let's go with a three. And the Clippers hit again from deep. Now he's drained two threes in each quarter so far. It's James on the wing. James double teamed. Pass to Davis. Tries again. Some solid defense from Martin. No matter what he's tried, it hasn't worked. Unfortunately, the team is suffering from that. George passes to Plumley. Back to George. Westbrook outside. Plumley with it. Six points for him. Let's it go from deep. And it's Westbrook that time on the assist by Plumley. He's got 16. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Oh, there's the alley. And Davis slams it home. Boy, there's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley-oop. Westbrook taking his time here. Woo! <laughs> I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. Well, I tell you what, guys. This is really getting close to being real ugly. Pass to Reeves. They swipe it. Westbrook outside. Oh, they pick off the pass. James passes to Vincent. Now here's Davis. Here's Reeves. Five on the clock. Vincent can't hit. It has not been his game so far. He's trying his best, giving great effort, but little has gone his way. Westbrook outside. Rebound, the Lakers. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. James against Covington. Wood, a screen on Covington. The three, James knocks down the triple. James has got six in the quarter. He's been dropping them in from downtown since the tip. Three triples in the first quarter, two more since. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. George, no good. Martin against James. Here's Davis. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got three assists now in this one. For three, Westbrook. No good on the buzzer beater. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Clippers ahead, leading by one. And we'll see you back here after the break. Third quarter action in just a bit. Thanks for joining us. And first off, let's take a look at the Players of the Week. The selection for the Western Conference, Nikola Jokic. The talent of the Jokers being recognized. Big achievements for the big man from Serbia. He's one of those players that can win at any time. Yeah, he's asked to do a lot, I'm telling you. But he ends up doing it, and he gets a lot of triple-doubles, Shaq. Well, as we check out the results of the first half for the Lakers... It's been neck and neck. They're giving up loads of threes. You can see that. Defensively, it's like they're a step too late, too often. Yeah, as a coach, you want to see the effort from your guys. They weren't terrible in the first half, but we know they have more to give. Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You know, LeBron James has been exceptional here, guys. 
They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. And the Lakers with possession here. They trail by one. And so in the game for the Clippers, Westbrook and George manning the backcourt. Kawhi Leonard out there with Robert Covington. And it's Plumlee in at the five, roaming the paint. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Here's George following the score by the Lakers. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. Hachimura with a screen on Leonard. For three. Westbrook with the rebound. And it's Westbrook with the ball for the L.A. Clippers. George finds Westbrook. Back to George. From outside the arc. Rebounded by the Lakers. Impressive closeout on a skilled shooter. That is how you defend shots from downtown. Back to Achimura. Pass to James. That three's off the mark. The Clippers trail. To the paint. Stolen by Davis. Third quarter of basketball. We're about a minute and a half in. For three, James, he can't hit that time. Just one for four from the field, not the way they wanted to start the second half. Covington passes to Westbrook. It's George on the wing. Fades away. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. Westbrook's got his fourth assist in this one. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Hey, Brian, LeBron James last season moved into the top four all-time in assists and first all-time in points scored. Not only that, he's the only player in NBA history with over 30,000 points, 10,000 rebounds, and 10,000 assists. And he's still going. Folks, what we are witnessing is legendary. Brian? That is the truth. Good stuff, Allie. Thank you for that. So it's the Clippers now. The Lakers getting their last to go. So good near the hoop. Leonard. Oh, it's not easy trying to guard Leonard inside. I can tell you that, guys. I mean, he's so good at using his body to get shots up over the defense. A hard-fought matchup. Seven lead changes thus far. And these teams have been sparring from the get-go. Neither able to land the knockout blow. Timeout called. The Clippers. And they shot well from the field. Top half in the league in that respect. Some of it just came down to patience and discipline. And as you were saying, they were great beyond the arc. Stretching out opposing defenses, giving opponents headaches. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. George feels it out a bit. No good from outside. You know, after connecting on one three-pointer in the first half, he hasn't netted another one since. And the shot goes down. Now it's a three-point Laker lead. Not to be denied, Hachimura has a great motor and competes with the best of them. Westbrook, the pass to Covington. Now Plumley. Pass to Covington. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Covington finds George. Six on the shot clock. Leonard with the ball. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. Leonard's got five points in the quarter. And of course we've seen Kawhi hit some huge shots from the corners throughout his career. Pass to Davis. 
Here's Russell. Pounded by Westbrook. Hachimura from long range. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. You know, over his career, Paul George has racked up more than his fair share of accolades, Grant. Well, he's a fixture at All-Star Weekend, that's for sure. Now, he's made the all-defensive team more than a few times. He's had an outstanding career. Now, here's Davis. Ten points for him. The three from Russell. Nails it from beyond the arc. Russell's got seven points in the game. Not the usual angle for Russell, but his three-shot remains pure. Pass to Covington. And here's George. The three. And the Clippers hit again from deep. One this half, two for the game. Staying active from beyond the arc. Westbrook against Russell. To the inside. Davis. He drains it. Made half his shots. He's five for ten now. And I tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. Now here's George. He's got 12. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Now here is James. 14 feet away. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Covington's got four rebounds in the game. Leonard outside. Pass to Covington. Westbrook outside. And here's George, guarded by Russell. And George gets it to go on the assist by Westbrook. He's got 14. Good work in deep from George that time. He's far more than just a perimeter threat. Time called here. The Lakers decide to talk it over. Martin, he's checked in for the Clippers. Hachimura against Leonard. Reeves the pass to James. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Hey, you have to have pity for the defense right there. I mean, LeBron is an absolute load down low. He makes a first. Look, the physicality has always stood out with LeBron. It's been obvious, but his basketball IQ is what makes him such a special, special player. I mean, he sees the game like very few ever have. And the Lakers making a change here. Vincent's checked in. Both good from the line that time. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. Again, the Clippers score. Boy, it looks to me like he can get this shot anytime he wants. I mean, so confident, so poised, always under control. James, outside. Russell, a screen on Martin. James passes to Davis. And finished off by Davis. He may give up a little size, but has the bounce to hold his own. Here's Westbrook. 18 points for him. for the lead. Hachimura with a rebound. The Lakers in the lead. Pass to James. Davis with a screen on Martin. The shot by James. No good. He had it flowing from long range in the first half. 
Not sure what changed. Throws it up high. It's stolen away. Hachimura up top. Leonard defending. Vincent off target from three-point range. Misfires again, and the ball just refuses to cooperate with him. It's a tough day so far. Plumlee, a screen on Davis. For three, George. Rebound by the Lakers. Here's Vincent. He has six. Pass to Russell. Some solid defense from Martin. He hasn't helped the cause with his shooting, but his teammates have had his back. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Lakers. Really a great job in this one, forcing the issue defensively. Great quickness and discipline combined, making ball handlers very uncomfortable. Well, another major factor in the offensive performance was the fast break, converting on those chances when they get them tonight. And just the thought of Kenyon Martin Jr. Man, where does the time go, Clark? It races by, you know that. I remember his dad putting up 51 points in the Ohio High School Finals. That was a state record. Does not seem like that long ago. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Zubats, he's checked in for the Clippers. Man comes in for Leonard. One then misses the second attempt from the line. The Lakers have gone 50% from the field in the third quarter. 8 of 16. And there's the rejection. Here's Mann. Checked by James. Mann misses. And the Lakers shooting at a 48% clip from the floor. Hachimura finds James. Pass to Davis. Shoots over Zubats. And that one's good. Davis. Davis has got 16 points. And they've really managed to dominate inside. Time the play in the out. paint has gone almost entirely all their way. Right. Time called here. The Clippers decide to talk it over. And the Clippers have possession. It's a five-point game. Stolen by Russell. And he lobs it up to the rim. For three, George drops in the three. George has got ten points in the quarter. His third triple of the game. A little more success from out there in the second half. Davis a screen. Here's James. There's the strength of the king. Even when LeBron faces resistance, he just turns up the dial of intensity and gets it done. Westbrook, the pass to Martin. Offline with a three. The Lakers shooting about 53% of the third, a very good number. Pass to Achimura. And some changes here for the Lakers. Woods checked in for Anthony Davis. And Vanderbilt is subbed in for Achimura. Powell, he's checked in for the Clippers. Go! On defense, the Clippers. Now Russell puts up a three. 
Clock at six. Outside Vanderbilt. Here's Vincent. He got a piece of it. Martin, the pass to Mann. It's George on the wing. Back to Mann. 4-3. Rebound by the Lakers. You know, when he has the ball outside like that, that's exactly the kind of D they need to play on. From seven feet. And it's Martin with the rebound. Martin's got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Mann. Wood grabs the board. Wood's got his sixth rebound on the night. Vincent passes to Vanderbilt. Cranked it in off the glass. Vanderbilt's got nine. That's serving it up on the platter there. What a nice pass. A high percentage look was the result. Zubac with a screen on Russell. For three, George. Shot is off. Shooting seven for 15. The Lakers shooting at 49% so far in the game. Outside Russell. 56 seconds left in the third quarter. Wood with the screen. The three ball. And Russell with the three. And now it's a nine-point Laker lead. You can really see that his confidence is at a high level here in this half. He didn't have a three in the first. George for three. Rebound by the Lakers. James has got rebound number five here tonight. Launches it. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Martin's got five rebounds in the game to stop the drought. Oh, a rim-rattling two-handed jam. He challenges the defender and throws it down with two hands. Man, just straight power on that one. Clear the deck. Yeah, I love that determination right there. Powell against James. Vanderbilt, a screen on Powell. Fighting for the rebound, making sure they take back possession. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead, just pounding the painted area. That's helped them build an advantage. And more NBA action on 2K Sports, coming your way right after this. And now let's listen in to Ty Lu in the huddle. Gotta fight through it, okay? We gotta scream better, play with more pace. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. Vanderbilt at power forward with Davis in the middle. Austin Reeves out there with Gabe Vincent. And it's Prince in at the three, the small forward. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Now here's Vanderbilt. Here's Prince. Outside Vanderbilt. Pass to Vincent. Fires the three. Leonard pulls down the board. Every player goes through this. When your shots aren't going down, it can ding your confidence. Here's Powell. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And a moment to check out who the Los Angeles Lakers have coming up. On Saturday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Orlando, going up against the Magic. And then Monday, they'll face off against Kyle Lowry and the Miami Heat. Two shots. And he drops the first. So Powell nails them both. The Lakers in the lead. Here's Reeves. Davis with a screen on Powell. Outside Vanderbilt from behind the arc. Oh my goodness! He'll go to the line with a chance at a four-point play. It's going to go on Kawhi Leonard. Well, the value of Jared Vanderbilt as a strong wing defender is pretty undeniable, Clark. You cannot win consistently without players like Jared Vanderbilt. I mean, you need a shutdown defender that has versatility. 
And it's a skill that he takes a lot of pride in. He's worked at. He brings a lot to the table at that end of the floor. The free throw drops for Vanderbilt. And for the Clippers, they're shooting the rock well at 46%. Shoots. And the basket by Leonard. And just continuing to pile it on. Leonard is such a ruthless player. Vincent passes to Davis. Here's Vincent. Pass to Davis. Back to Vincent. Picked it out of midair. Down low. Here's Zubats. And it's slammed in by Zubats. Got to give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. Exactly. I mean, when you're running neck to neck, those kinds of mistakes tip the scale. Wow, it's good. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Here's Reeves. Lays it up and banks it in. Here's Powell. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. 14 feet away. The Lakers with a rebound. Probably not the shot they had in mind. But you can't fault him. He had a clean look. Blocked! Now here's Martin. The D's right on him. Pass to Zubac. Here's Mann. Three-pointer. It doesn't go for him. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Vanderbilt, a pass to Vincent. Takes a three, and another three for the Lakers. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Here's Mann. Powell passes to Martin, and there's a whistle. That's going to go on Jared Vanderbilt. That's his first foul. Hachimura has checked in for Prince. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Russell Westbrook, he's checked in for Martin. Westbrook outside. Jacks up a three. And the Clippers miss again. The Lakers have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Here's Reeves. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. The Clippers trail. Zubat passes to Leonard over Vanderbilt. And the Clippers miss again. The Lakers shooting about 43% since the fourth quarter began. Here's Vincent. Pounded by Westbrook. Pass to Vanderbilt. This one for three. And give him another one. He's six of eight and looking solid. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. Powell with it. Zubox with a screen on Achimura. Leonard for three. Leonard! Beyond the line! It's turned into a showdown here. Dueling from distance. Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. And he's going for the lob! Davis can't hit. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. And the shot goes in. And the Lakers lead by 10. Hey, that kind of contact is not going to get it done against Davis. He's much too strong for that. Powell sets a screen. Here's Leonard. Leonard, unfazed by the D, knocks it down. Style and grace from Kawhi Leonard on that one. And the Lakers call time here. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout.
And some changes here for the Lakers. Woods checked in for Anthony Davis. James comes in for Reeves. And Russell is subbed in for Vincent. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. I was able to catch the message that Darvin Ham was giving to his team. He kept it real with his team, telling them, I know you feel good about this lead, but let's not get lazy. Let's not act like this is a sure thing all of a sudden. Looking to keep their focus on the task at hand. Brian? Great work, Allie. Thanks. The Clippers on D. Here's James. Batum pulls it in. I wonder if switching baskets really threw him off. I mean, because he can't get anything to fall this half. And he's going for the oop here. Stolen by Vanderbilt. Achimura, right side. And it's slammed in by Achimura. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. That'll put Kawhi Leonard on the line. It's on Rui Achimura, and the Clippers making a change here. Martin's checked in. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. And you know, guys, I mean, he is a solid free throw shooter. And of course, Leonard has everything in his game. The Lakers have gotten six of 12 shots to go here in this fourth quarter. Here's James. Not to be deterred, LeBron. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Leonard against Vanderbilt, rejected by James. What timing by James on the denial. His hand is right there at the exact moment it needs to be. Unable to get that one. Excellent D there from Westbrook. Martin, the pass to Westbrook. Leonard on the wing. Kawhi, too strong inside. Hey, he's doing whatever he can right now to pump up his teammates. Now Russell. Pass to Vanderbilt. Out to James. Now here's Russell. He's checked by Plumley. Hope loose. Out of bounds. It'll be the Clippers ball. Davis, he's checked in for the Lakers. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Covington's checked in. The Clippers have gotten seven to go out of 13 attempts during the fourth. Pass to Leonard. And Leonard powers it down. Explosive move by Kawhi at the rim. The defense had no answer there. Vanderbilt with a screen. Here's James. Sweet little floater. James has got 10 points here in the second half. There's a touch of artistry to the floater. Takes feel as much as skill. And the ball out of play. Lakers will have it. The Lakers making a switch here. Reeves is checked in. Russell with the ball. Outside Davis. Davis with a screen on Leonard. Fires from deep. Second chance shot. And Davis lays it in. And now it's a nine-point Laker lead. What determination on the boards. His work ethic really standing out right there. Well done by Davis. And Davis with the block. They get it back. Leonard for three. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. George has got five assists tonight. He's starting to pick it up from downtown. Made just one in the first half, but he's drained three more since. Good on the bucket. James has got 31. That signature pull-up, not many do it like James does. George outside. Fires the three. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. 
Lackluster defense, showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. Now, here is James. LeBron, a smooth operator inside. His overall size and strength really sets James apart from the rest of his peers when you think about his skill set inside. Here's Leonard. And Reeves pulls it down. Reeves has got four rebounds in the game. Uses the glass on the layup. And the Lakers lead by nine. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. Timeout called. The Clippers. You got to like what we're seeing from LeBron James. With the perimeter D struggling to stay connected to him, they're getting bombarded. a screen on Russell here's Leonard that shot missing good work defensively by James Davis the pass to Russell back to Davis the Clippers grab the miss well you know stopping him is never easy to do but the defense was strong there pass to George launches a three Hachimura with a rebound Hachimura's got six rebounds here tonight. Outside Russell. To the middle. Oh, George with a steal. Now Westbrook. Here's Plumley. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. Westbrook's got seven assists in the game. And so Davis will bring it up for the Lakers. They lead by seven. And he gets the bucket. Davis has got 22 points. When AD gets going like this, it's almost impossible to slow him down. He's got so many different ways to beat you. Pass to Leonard. Over James. Shot by Leonard. No good. Well, the Lakers shooting a very impressive 54% on the fourth. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Russell Westbrook. The size, the change of pace, the shiftiness of Russell. A hard guy to defend without fouling. He gets the first, and that'll push the lead to double digits. You know, Russell's known for his scoring ability, but I like the fact that he's eager and hungry to continue to improve. And both free throws good for Russell. And for the Clippers, they're shooting an even 50% since the fourth quarter got underway. Pass to George. Tries it from 16. Russell with the rebound. And the Lakers shooting at a respectable 49%. It's clear now how this is going to end, and I'm not surprised. Great win for the Lakers. You know, their ability to protect the ball helped win it for them. Yeah, it really did. Less turnovers mean you can get more chances to score. All coaches tell you to value every possession. And they pick up their fourth win of the year. Every victory so sweet in the association. Yeah, this is far from the last word in the season series. Still three more meetings between them and plenty of motivation to square things up. We know familiarity breeds contempt. I would expect things to become more heated as these teams face each other going forward. And as most people predicted, the defense, even though they were king on him, had no answers for LeBron James. So impressed with his performance today. He was confident, he was composed, and the defense just didn't know how to adjust. Love the aggressiveness from Westbrook to fight through some contact there on the shot. Three shots. Three shots.
And he hits the first of three. And some changes here for the Lakers. Vanderbilt's checked in for Achimura. Reddish comes in for Reeves. And Vincent is subbed in for Russell. And a new group getting ready for the Clippers. Zubats, he's checked in for Plumley. Morris comes in for Covington. Martin, he's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. And it's Highland in for George. And he sinks the second. And he can't make it three for three. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Now here's Westbrook. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Inside. And it's slammed in by Zubats. I'll tell you what, it's good to be his age. Yeah, I don't have memories like that at my age, though. <laughs> yeah, it does make me look back a little bit, but I could never throw it down like that. But it sure does look good. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. This one was a alley. Thank you, as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.